tore this out of a magazine called The Week for June 10th, 2011. I'm going to read it. You can read the text too. Could bacteria in the sky affect the weather? The idea is not as outlandish as it sounds. New research provides strong evidence that microbes in the clouds serve as nuclei around the water droplets, around which water droplets, snow, and hail form. Scientists have traditionally thought that the precipitation coalesced mostly around the airborne minerals and dust particles. But when microbiologists at Montana State University dissected golf ball-sized hay bales that fell on campus last year, they found high concentrations of bacteria at their cores, the first part of a hailstorm to develop. Study author Alexander Mitchell tells Live Science. Com. And that's no accident, says Brent Krishner, another scientist in the growing field of bioprecipitation, which studies the links between germs and weather. He discovered that one common species of bacteria contains a special protein that encourages snow to form at significantly warmer temperatures than usual. Such an ability to produce precipitation, he says, is an evolutionary advantage for bacteria that feed on plants as it lets them hitchhike on the water cycle to get from host to host. Does that look normal for 1944? So I'm going to discuss this now and just show you these pictures from the International Cloud Atlas while I talk. What this article doesn't address is a minimum of 65, 70 years of antecedent research from around 1940 talking, talking about contrails, condensation. Here's another one from 45, see? Uh, so it doesn't discuss the antecedent history where there is no bacteria up in the atmosphere to allow this to happen. This is man introduced. It doesn't say that in the statement that scientists have traditionally thought that precipitation coalesced mostly. Well, that is what it happens mostly. The stuff they're measuring was done intentionally. In 1953, the Navy was responsible for putting flu virus into the fog over the San Francisco Bay Area and it came over and got everybody sick and then they used the hospitals as a database. This made the news in 88, it stayed in the news for about 10 days and disappeared never to be heard of again. Being the San Jose Mercury News, 1988. This fellow uh, Brent Krishner is the one that discovered a special protein that encourages snow to form at significantly warmer temperatures. It's called by him an evolutionary advantage for bacteria that feed on plants. An airplane introduces a bacteria that was made by a man in a laboratory and this is called evolution. I call it being fucked over. And this is odd. There weren't 200 jets in the world in 1944. This is January of 45. Germany had most of them. This is Royal Air Force, Farnborough, Hampshire, UK. So this represents the paths of many planes, and no, I don't believe they were prop-driven planes. Anyhow, that's the news on bioprecipitation. It's man-made, it's new, and that's an obfuscation report. To all of you colluding kleptocrats out there trying to control the world, I would say eschew obfuscation and embrace the truth. So it's a very carefully worded report, full of concealment, but still telling us the truth. And um, this is a classic example of why it's so hard to make any headway with this subject. You have to know magic buzzwords and then use them in such a way that you don't offend anybody I guess. So this is the 56 International Cloud Atlas and you'll see that most of the pictures in here are black and white. Well it looks like they're half and half but they're not. Lots of black and white photos. And I'm showing you this because when we go to the 1987 Cloud Atlas, hey look there's those cloud bands. I've put these up a couple times. These can occur naturally. Sorry, it's so dark, but I bought all these books from the 1940s back to around 1920 on cloud atlases and, and pilots' books. Anyhow, here's the 87 cloud atlas. Let me show you something here. So almost every single picture in here has been changed from the 56, and obviously they're all going to be in color, okay? 
almost every picture. I'm not going to try and prove it. Just take my word for it. Except, except for these two. Now, if the things are so fucking common, how come you're using a picture from 1945? I, you know, yeah, I've got a paranoid conspiracy theory going. But I find it peculiar, and I'm sure it was used after 87, and from 56 to 87 is 31 years, the same photograph, when everything else has changed. Now, it doesn't prove anything, but it's still, it's odd. It's interestingly odd.